forgot to tell you all yesterday when I, I went to take Scooby for a walk at night time. There was some deer that had, we had got to one part where I know I'm taking them for a walk and then I just see two big white tailed deers just take off running through the woods. It was crazy. Crap, you all can't even see it now. You can just see two lights. But it is freaking dark out here. What can you expect? Well, I just finished up what I was working on yesterday, the quote I did from hand lettering. And I just watched a Jim Rohn video that I'd never seen before. And one quote that was unbelievable out of the many that he had said, well, let me tell it to you all. Don't let your learning lead to knowledge. You'll become a fool. Let your learning lead to action and you can become wealthy. I was at a loss for words for that because there's so many, for an example, if you are sitting learning how to make YouTube videos and get views and you learn how to do it but you don't take action, you're not really learning, you're learning stuff but you're not taking action so you're just learning stuff just to learn it and it's not going to help you out if you're not taking action. Just like with Spanish. When I first started embarking on a journey to learn Spanish, I would do about two or three exercises a day and then I would be done. I would not go out and practice with other Spanish speakers. And before I even started Live Mocha, I was doing Rosetta Stone and that was a bad thing. It, Rosetta Stone is, it doesn't help people learn languages like it says it does. but. It's all in a trial and error, learning what works and what doesn't work. It was weird how I came out of the house and it was raining. And then as I started to walk, walk to the bus stop, get closer, it just stopped raining. That's weird. And also, I was just thinking because I had randomly came across a video on YouTube, it was of two football fans, well, what we call in America soccer, they call it football in other countries, two football fans, and oh my god, women in Peru, they are so beautiful. I really wouldn't mind to date a Latin woman, a Peruvian woman. I mean, that's... Uh, they are amazing. But really, I don't discriminate when it comes to women. I like all races. Uh, it's all wet out and sprinkling a little bit. Just got out of work. Work was great. It was just a day of basically relaxation, not too much work at all. And I got to practice my Spanish with my coworker from Peru. She is awesome. She's pretty cool. I mean, it's. I feel that I'm learning Spanish so much better than I was before. Like I had told you all earlier this morning. And what else has been going on? Oh, so my relief, but it's preg pregnant. She got there late. And in the meantime, when it hit six o'clock, I was like, okay, I am going to go ahead and put my put the clothes up that I have to and my manager had said were you running a rack putting up their clothes without anybody watching the fitting room and then I had said yeah but there is nobody back here with no customers and she had said clever I don't know if y'all I'm taking a butt out of my ear here we go it is raining hard as hell I am so glad I put my coat back on because I was gonna just stand here and hold it, but the wind has been blowing and it's been quite chilly. If you all know how it is when it rains outside. But on the way home, feeling amazing. 
I'm just so thankful that I have more energy than I used to have. But I guess it could be with the food that I eat. And right now, I know that tomorrow, well, the next couple of days, I'm gonna take more food to work to eat. And I'm off on Friday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Can you believe I almost fell at the bus terminal? <clears throat> because me like an idiot, I wasn't thinking. I try to run on the mud. Thinks okay, I'm running fast and it's not gonna mess me up. And then I do it and it's like I'm trying to run on ice in tennis shoes. But luckily, the only thing I got dirty was my hand and my shoes and then my bag got dirty from my hand grabbing it but there's one thing I another thing I learned today from the Jim Rovey I was telling you all about earlier was when he said don't try to beat the system learn how the system operates and work it to your advantage because I feel that's what a whole lot of people try to do with for example YouTube they don't learn how the system works. Then they get frustrated. Then they decide to either do sub for sub, buy views, buy subscribers. Ugh. But there's plenty of videos and stuff you can read about how the whole system works. But just wanted to share that with you all. And my goodness, I have to give me some food. Is there a car coming or not? Can somebody tell me why their Christmas lights are still on? <sighs> I've seen another house with the same thing on the way here. Here is the backyard. Let me open up this door so you all can feel it. That's like a movie. I don't know if the movie, there's a movie called Fogtown. 